In this video, we're going to look at testing. Testing is a very important part of the teaching process. It helps you measure progress before and after the program, it helps identify students that may need more help, and it helps identify students that may need additional testing. There are two required tests and one optional test. The first test you need to give each student is the 40L Quick Screen Reading Grade Level Test. The next required test is the MWIA, a Diagnostic Reading Test. The score on the 40L quick screen test will determine which version of the MWIA you need to use. The optional test is a quick nonsense word test. It is also a diagnostic test. For both of the required tests, you write the student's name on your copy that you will be marking and have them read from a blank version of the same test. It's best to hide your markings behind a folder out of the student's view so they won't get distracted. Give the test in a quiet corner of the class. The more comfortable the volunteers are with the tests, the faster the testing portion will go. You should go over how to give the tests with them in a meeting prior to the first class. I also recommend that they give them to a spouse or child for practice. The first test you need to give each student is the 40L Quick Screen Reading Grade Level Test. This test is easy to give. You just have the student read through the words and count up the number correct. You stop after 10 total missed words or 5 missed words in a row. Then you divide the number of correct answers by 10 to get a reading grade level. One important thing to note, do not tell the correct word. This makes it so that you can reuse the test after the syllables program finishes without test bias. See 40L's YouTube video, How to Grade Level Test, for a more detailed explanation. There are also printed instructions with the test. The testing files are all available at the syllable spell success page, which is linked in the video description. The next test you need to give is the MWIA. This is a very powerful reading diagnostic test. It compares the speed and accuracy of reading two different types of words, holistic and phonetic words. Holistic words are words commonly taught as sight words. You time each portion and count the number of errors in each section. There are short versions of the MWIA available that take just a minute or two per student to give. Scoring takes a while, but you can save the scoring portion for later to conserve class time if needed. There is detailed information on the test, and also there is a YouTube playlist with more videos about the MWIA. You need to give the 40L Quick Screen Reading Grade Level Test first because you give a different version of the MWIA depending on the student's reading grade level. Students scoring at the first grade level or below take the MWIA 1 original or the MWIA 1 short. Student, student scoring above that, a reading grade level of 1.1 or higher on the quick screen test, should take the MWIA 3 or the MWIA 3 short. There is also a short optional nonsense word test that you can use to help figure out if a student may need phonics help or if the student syllables lessons are likely to improve their reading speed and accuracy. It is a short timed reading for speed and accuracy of 25 nonsense words. The test includes age norms for accuracy and oral reading rates. Time the rate at which the student reads the words and keep track of the number of words missed. There are detailed instructions in the test. If you are doing a 10 lesson version of the class, have the parents give these tests and use the first portion of the first class to finish up any students that did not get tested. Other students can color in their one-page vowel and consonant chart during this time. Normally, you will give the tests again during the last class. For a 10-lesson version, have the parents give the test after Lesson 9 is completed and give any missing tests during the game time of Lesson 10. For a normal class with a scheduled post-testing time, score the test during the long break and announce the class average improvement at the end. To finish up, we'll take a quick look at a few graphs showing improvement on these tests. More are available in a document and a YouTube movie called Understanding and Using the MWIA. This chart shows the average improvement in reading speed on the MWIA before and after a group syllable spell success class. And this chart shows before and after accuracy scores on the MWIA. The red are phonetic words and the blue are holistic. This is an individual student's graph. This fourth grade student had profound guessing habits and required a lot of sounding out every word one sound at a time and a lot of nonsense words to overcome his habit patterns of guessing. He completed one 18 hour class over a two month period and then began a second class. Approximately halfway through the second class, he and his family moved and had to leave the class. 
His last test showing an improvement slowdown was taken during the middle of the second class. He improved two reading grade levels and greatly improved his accuracy and word per minute rates with the most, um, the greatest improvement in his word per minute rate coming after a break and then the second class. There are several more individual student graphs and more information in the understanding and using the MWIA document and movie. Different patterns on the MWIA can help you figure out if your student may have dyslexia and how to tailor your remediation for each student. My volunteers have found giving the tests to be the thing that they need the most practice with. For most of them, helping students with phonics is much easier than giving the tests. Make sure your volunteers have plenty of practice giving and scoring these tests before you start your group testing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment and I'll include answers in how to teach number 10.